Welcome to Death Must Die. Today we'll check out a game that is apparently a combination of a bullet heaven game as well as Hades. If you haven't played that, I also don't know all too much about it, but it's an amazing game as far as I know. And you have like gods that give you power, so each god has its own individual power that they give you. Now I don't know too much about this, I haven't seen how you play the game and how it works. So far, very intuitive, we, we just attack the enemies. And yeah, there's our first level- oh my god. <laughs> I mean, hello there, how are you doing? <laughs> Oh, that's... Oh, she... Uh, I like her. <laughs> hey, you're the one time gave the hourglass to her. So, I guess time is also a goddess or god or something. Well, whatever it is you're doing here, I'm always first to help mortals. So, allow me to lend a hand. I mean, you're more welcome to noon. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, what are you... Ooh, wow. So, the attacks become strong and apply burning. I guess we can see it down here as well, right? Your uh, dash is... Okay, yeah. So, this is pretty much what you know from Hades, right? You... Depending on what you get, you pick upgrades for different things. So, this is for an attack, this is for defense, and this is for myself, it just increases damage. I think I'll go for the fire strike, that sounds good. With left click you attack, you move around, with spacebar you dash, I don't know anything else because as I said, just intuitive, I haven't done anything so far really. Right click is nothing at all, and I gotta say, the graphics are incredibly appealing to me. It's hard to make pixelated graphics that look good, in my opinion. Like, it's easy to make pixelated graphics, like, <laughs> just turn on the resolution. Hello again! <laughs> Summer, how are you doing? It's like, so far, my favorite part of all this. Oh, she's gone, okay. Oh, what did she say? I'm not good at listening, sorry. Burning enemies leave a fire where they die. That actually, your dash has become shorter, but you can dash multiple times in a row. Ooh, boop, boop. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay, that is not bad. So, I assume that the, the, the goddess is probably introducing me what we have to do. I see a glow here, but no, there's nothing. Okay, I thought maybe there is something. Interesting. I see a ranged enemy. Okay. And uh, we'll just kill him. That was easy. What is that? That looks like air. Yeah. Can I not do anything here? I feel like I'm missing something. Is there... So, we can interact with E. Skills is tab, dash... Ooh, inventory. What is it? <gasps> we have equipped. Oh my god. Okay. I. Um. Okay, I'll be honest. That is that is amazing. I have a feeling we'll do that more often. Oh, that is a temporary buff. Okay, okay. I thought maybe we have to challenge something. Did we just destroy the projectile? Did you see that? Ooh, I like that. Oh, I liked it a lot. I like it that we can destroy them and are not forced to just, like, you know, walk into them. Every couple of attacks you breathe fire, the damage is bur- Oh, yeah, uh, that's great. Can I maybe, you know, <laughs> not for a particular reason, can I maybe see the goddess again? <laughs> ah, careful there. Oh, wow, you are strong. And he talked. We got an item. And with E, I picked it up, and with B, so we have now 30%- Oh my, it's broken, that's even a bad item. You have so many tiers of items then. Oh my- Okay, that game is just... Oh, that's perfect. That is exactly my vibe, what I'm looking for. So the thing is, I never really got into Hades because it was not exactly my type. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that the game is bad. It's just not my particular thing. But what I really loved about it were the level ups, you know, that you get these unique things offered. And I do assume every couple of attacks you breathe fire. It Oh, that just upgrades it, right? Yeah. And I think I will just take that again. Sure. Yeah, but I, I really like the concept of upgrading individual things because that makes every single run unique. In my opinion, hello there, Mr. Elite. That's another item. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, let's dash out. Dude, th that is so much fun. That's not another item. Weird. But yeah, the point being, it's really hard in these games to make the runs feel unique. You know, that you have a reason to play again. And the funny part is, equipment alone already takes care for a big chunk of that. Now, to be fair... If if it, the only thing that makes it worth it is the equipment, it's not a lot of fun, but in, in a way like this, where you get such unique upgrades, that's great. You experience teaches you well. So do I get more experience? I <gasps> oh wow. Oh wow. Okay, you shouldn't be here. Uh, I mean... I mean, goodbye. Is there a chest? I assume so. So we got Vengeful Strike, that is blue. And I do assume that upgrades something even more. It almost looks like it, right? That's a big jump, I think. Novice to adapt. 
So that doesn't increase the level, but it upgrades it to depth, which I assume makes it more rare or more powerful with every level up that we get. Unless it is maybe also the only... Oh my god, the Meteor Shower Master level! Meteors fall from the sky, damaging enemies, and yet... I mean, don't tell me more. Don't tell me... You, you already had me at Master. But well, that is even better. Okay. Uh, these ghosts are something. The thing is, I think we have a really good mix so far. Do I do wonder, so I was told there are like multiple gods or goddesses or whatever, and I do wonder where they are. Because so far we only know the fire one, and I'm not complaining. Listen, I, I, I want to see you again, but I wonder what else is in here. And also my HP is... Ooh, I have to be careful that I don't die here, yeah. I like the skeletons more. They were slow and easy to kill. There we go. I really hope I can upgrade the meteor. And that's not just it. Like, not just damage. I want to make them as big as possible that I nuke the entire screen. Okay, it... <laughs> the moment X plays another game, it's Boogaloo of Illusions time. Listen, it would be great if we could have that. I'm just saying. Ooh, a magnet. Um, I think we have a... Sir? What is that? Do you think that damages me if I dash over it? Oh, you- oh, wow. Okay. So... What? Huh? So I can't get the ma magnet anymore? Uh, fire, fire, fire. I think once we defeated the, the slimes here, we will probably be able to walk again. I still have a little bit of PTSD from Halls of Torment with the slimes. The toxic slime on the floor. Oh, hello there, Summer. Make them feel the heat, those of them, something anyway. <laughs> I should maybe listen better. <laughs> we upgrade our meteor shower. Doesn't upgrade the area, but uh, more projectiles. Hello. Uh, there was one third more projectiles. That is nice. Uh, there we go. So I think she just shows up when I level up sometimes, right? Like, I don't have to trigger something specific. It's just level ups, yeah. I think every second level up, maybe, or something like that. Maybe. I don't know. I think it was on 3, 5, and 7. Ouch. Ouch. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Armor. Do I have to manually... Oh, yeah, I have to manually pick that up. Oh, wow. Um, okay, it's gone. That means we can pick up the experience down there. I have to be so careful. Oh, look at this. Okay, auto toggle. If on your character will start attacking when you click and stop attacking only when you click again. Interesting. So I can now do this, right? Yeah. But I do move slower while doing that. I think the main benefit is that I struggle a little bit aiming properly. So this just takes care of that. Oh, interesting. Okay. I do like being lazy and then I just click it again and we move faster. Okay. Wow, do you see the meteor though? Oh, that's a big boy. Uh, there's some gold. I would maybe like to have some regeneration. I think I just have to walk around and find another glowing spot. Wait, there's one, there's one, there's one. <gasps> oh! Do you just kill all the enemies? I bet. Death Champions approach, what? That's not what I signed up for! Um, uh, misunderstanding. Misunderstanding. <laughs> okay. There's another shield dude. I'm looking for the... Did we kill the other one already? Really? I mean, I, I guess I'll take care of this dude then. He slams forwards. I kind of hope he would get an upgrade. That also looks like he's not special. He just had a shield. Okay. Yeah, I can't quite say what we did there. Yeah, look at this. So sometimes we can upgrade zip in levels. And here we can upgrade it to adapt. Do I care about that? Or do I rather care about... Wait. Look at this. It goes up from 300 to 400. Wait, that is insane! Combust when you kill a number of burning enemies, an explosion, damages and knockbacks nearby enemies. So that happens every single time. I will go for the combust. I wonder if there's a limit to it. So with tab, we can check it out here. Yeah, and I wonder if you can get all of them or if you're limited to, let's say, five, which is what we have right now. So that would suck a little bit. Oh, wow. Oh, you're evil. Um, that is, that is a proper boss. Okay, I love that. I gotta say, one slight mini issue that I have is when I play a lot of these games, the elites are always the same, you know? They just walk at you and they don't do anything. So seeing a boss fight like this, where they actually fight you, similar to like in Nordic Ashes, is insane. Like, it's so much more entertainment. Those were not bosses. Those are just normal enemies. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, you can see my threshold for being excited here is uh, quite low. Uh, it all has to do with experience. 
Uh, let's just kill this dude, please. There we go. Wait, we have another weapon here, right? They do exactly the same. Wait, they are the same. This is bonus health. This is shard pull area. Oh, wow. Oh, that's like a magnet effect. Maybe I shouldn't focus on that too much. I'm, I'm about to die. Uh, and this is a boss, right? Like the last time he talked to us. Yeah, I couldn't dash anymore. So what happens after you are done with the first stage? So we are in here and then I can dash. There's a treasure up there. Oh, that is time, god of time. Yeah, well, <laughs> what a creative name. Hey, I'm time, the god of time. <laughs> and I'm Dex, the god of Dex. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's great. Okay, so we have our stash. Didn't it change them? Oh, I have to manually change them. Okay, can I put them on top of each other? No. Well, I can, but like they don't combine. I like this one a little bit more. Yeah. Oh, oh, that is the exit. Okay, there we go. And do you... Oh, it keeps the settings. Very nice. That means I can just stand still. But I think I want to just look around and maybe find some of these spawn points, right? That seems to be the right thing in the beginning, maybe, because you don't get a lot of experience either way. Oh, where's Summer, by the way? Summer... You are not summer. I also won't complain though. Okay, so you are Morai, the goddess of fate. Will you fail, succeed? So wait, is this like, do we have, do you attack faster? You have more range? Oh, on the sprints. Okay, I'll, t I'll take attack faster, yeah. That sounds great. Interesting characters. I like them so far, all of them. <laughs> Why do I have a feeling the final one will be like, like a dude with a beer belly? <laughs> It always happens when I get excited. Oh, well, okay, never mind. I'm not complaining. God of Conquest. Hero, I task you with defeating death. For this, I reward you with my powers. Oh my god. Your attacks become stronger and knock back enemies. When you kill a number of enemies, when you have attack, create a chain that rotates around you. Or rotating blades spawn away from you, rupturing them. Yeah, sure. Okay. That... Wait. Okay, that's not what I expected. Like, I thought they would rotate around me, but that's also nice. That's actually... That's actually hilariously cool. <laughs> it, it's really not what I expected. I do wonder if there is no way to recover HP. And you have to be incredibly careful what you do. But I do expect that sometimes you get drops. And with that you can recover it. Like, if not, that would be a little bit weird. Okay, that was the right choice. Yeah, look at this. It's just flying around and searching enemies. Especially for the ranged ones, that's nice. I think down there is something, right? Here. No? Maybe it's harder than a- oh my god, Summer, yes. <laughs> Let him feel the heat. Yes, spice it up. What do we have here? Breath of Fire is nice. I think I will just go for as much damage as possible. Though to be fair, did we lack damage? Not really, right? Oh, that's experience gain. I want that. Yeah, we didn't lack damage. We rather lacked, like, area, I think, to make sure that the enemies don't hit me. Or maybe attack speed even was the problem. There we go. Or the dashes. I need to upgrade my dashes a little bit more, like the... Wait, so the last time this read Master, right? Why is it not Master now? I, that means I just got incredibly lucky, right? That we instantly got a Master and now we have to go from Novice to the next one, to the next one, to the next one to max it out, I assume. It's probably like in most games that you start at Common and then you can go to Blue, then you can go to Purple and then Master is probably the final tier, I would assume. Yeah, and if you get lucky, you can get a higher starting tier. Or it was the first run and the game was like, yeah, you know what, you'll get the Master here to check it out, but like that's the only time you get it. That would be sad. There's a big boy. Wait, the last time... Wait a second, the last time we got a dude, right, that gave me equipment. What happened to him? Hello there, Morai. Hope you're doing well. I, the problem is I'm not really a text person, okay? So I'm, 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 I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I do appreciate the pictures, though. <laughs> there's a light up there, and we already know that's a bait. Like, there's nothing, but that means right next to it, there is... Wait, where is it usually? It's us Yeah, it's usually really close to those spots. Oh, the, the champions. Are they any good? Not really, right? Yeah, they're easy to deal with. I have to be so careful with using the dashes, and I'm not really used to how to properly do it. So sometimes I dash, and then I don't have it when I need it. Oh, wow. I thought he's just running away. Uh, that was evil. Yeah, okay. We got a chest, and in the chest we have chains of war or shurikens. Enemies hit... 
Enemies you hit shoot out rupturing shurikens when you kill a number of enemies. That is, yeah, we already saw that. Bla we can make two blade counts. Oh my god. I know the other ones were purple, but I don't care. We can have two blades here. And we do have a new armor. I don't think that's a good one. Right, yeah, it's just bonus HP. I rather want to pull in more experience to make sure that I get it. Usually when you start out one of these games and you don't properly know how everything works yet and you panic a lot, it's way better to have something that pulls in experience from further away since you don't have to pay too much attention to it. Though, to be fair, HP would also be good. I wouldn't mind that. And I turned off the auto attacks. It, 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 it's not really working. Yeah, knowing when I'm in control and when I'm not is way better. I think when you get used to the game, you probably keep it on for way longer, since, well, you just know what you need at one point. But for me right now, I just have it on too often, and then I have to always dash away from attacks, instead of doing individual attacks like this. Yeah, that is way better. There's a glow that means to the right here is... somewhere, right? Is it up there? It's up there, isn't it? Oh, but interesting, so the stage design seems to repeat, not a problem with that. And... Ooh, hello, Krom. Enough talk. Do your duty to me, mortal. What? I'm already on my knees. Wait, what? <laughs> Enemy armor's reduced. 40%. Wait, that is so much, but like, we can have a third blade, yeah. <laughs> the question is, how much does armor actually matter? And if only certain enemies have armor that we can easily deal with either way, it doesn't really matter, right? Oh my god, look at these amazing blades. Though the slimes can be a problem. I'm still wondering, how do you recover HP here? Random drops? Level ups? Uh, maybe one of these shrines can do it? Technically speaking, I could just run away always and the blades kill them. Dude, these blades are amazing. I wonder if you can also upgrade their area. Oh, that would be great. Having bigger blades with such a huge amount would be insane. Like, I don't think anything would ever get to me again. Okay, let's go over there. I'm kind of hoping for healing here. Uh, what do- that's healing, isn't it? <gasps> that almost fully healed me! That probably just means that I don't have a lot of HP to begin with, but I mean, I, I can't choose more HP right now. And did you notice that we barely got any equipment in this run compared to the one before? Then we got like four equipment, this time I think so far we have one, right? Yeah. Oh wow. So I guess when you play this game, make sure that the first round that you have goes really well, since they seem to give you better stuff just to get used to it. And yeah, that's a normal enemy. I wonder, so how do you trigger bosses? Like, how do you do that? Oh, <laughs> Summer, hello. I've always liked the fates, you know, it's really not their fault. No, humans, blah, 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 okay. Like, <laughs> I want to listen to it, but <laughs> it's too much. Your dash has become shorter. Yeah, no, I, I don't think that was actually good. Maybe it would be good to get this a bunch of times and then you just dash around a lot. Uh, to be fair, a majority of the times when I use my dashes, it's just to evade one singular attack, right? So shorter makes more sense to avoid getting hit. And then you have another one. Oh, there's another shrine. What is it? Shield? I'm invulnerable, right? Oh, I should have kept that for a boss fight or so. I hope that it implicates that it's about to end, like that it blinks or something like that, because I Okay, that is just beautiful. That is- I don't even need to say anything. The developers- nice. I'm impressed. I like that. It's so easy to make mistakes that are bothersome and annoy you to play the game, where only when you really enjoy the game you're like, yeah, okay, that's not great, but you know what, the rest of the game is so much fun, I don't care. But so far here, everything has been perfectly on point. Also hitboxes, not a single problem, I mean, the, the main reason being that the enemies don't hurt you when you touch them. But no, that's great, yeah, I love it. Okay, these flying things are actually a problem. Oh my god, um... I'm about to die, that's a champion. How do I kill this dude? Oh wow. So I think what you want to do... Did I just get one shot? I probably didn't have a lot of HP left, right? Wait a second. I have boobs. <laughs> huh? Oh, that's my guy here. I did not expect a living guardian at death's gate. <laughs> 
Why is there smiley? <laughs> I'm no guardian, I just went out from fresh air. I suspect you're the first to come. First to come, what are you talking? Why is it using smiley? Please remove that, <laughs> that is a little bit weird. It's also kind of cute to have emotions, but if you want to have that, it's better to just use pictures, right? And not a smiley. It, it kind of feels a little bit cheap and takes away from the rest of the game. I mean, let's see what she does. She looks like an elf down there. Ooh. Oh, ranged attacks. That is probably one where I would like to auto-attack more, right? To just constantly shoot and always hit enemies. Yeah. I wonder, is anything... She has AoE attacks. Oh my god, I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love. I don't know if you remember that, but recently I just talked about how all that a game needs for me to love it is explosives. And this character as a basic attack has explosives. Yeah, don't, go away. Go away. I want to have explosives. Charge, your dash is improved. I don't care. Enemies you sh hit shoot out ruptures. Your attack shoots more proje- oh. <laughs> Explosives have more projectiles. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, I have a heart attack. This is beautiful! This is beautiful! Oh my god, I love this character. I don't want to play the other guy again. Listen, I'm all about the knights, you know, and armor, and, and, and well, actually, I'm more about barbarians, you know, light clothing, ginormous axe, and then just an oomph to every single hit. But, um, I mean, uh, 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 hello? Oh, hey there. Hi, Aish. Sha. That is a, a different name, right? I'm pretty sure. Attack air. Make the explosions bigger. Make this. We don't even need range here, right? It, it doesn't matter to us. Which I would assume that means that it buffs up the other abilities as well when you have that. Because our attack seems to. It doesn't go on forever. Eh, it's good enough. It's good enough. And what do we have here? Movement speed. I don't really care all too much. Yeah. I don't even know what the penalty was that I took that. I do assume that it bumped down the damage by quite a lot. Because if you shoot four projectiles instead of one, then you would expect that the damage gets decreased by like 80% maybe. I think 80% would... Well, maybe that's also too much. Did we just kill everything? Was there a dude there? Wait a second. What do we have here? Less armor when you kill a number of enemies. We kind of kill a lot, don't we? So that could be good. Is it? Oh my god. Schwing dein Ding, Pudi. <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> Look at this! Okay, just for the confused English speakers, Schwing dein Ding pretty much means swing your thing. That also rhymes, right? Yeah. But it was more common in German back then. I don't think you really say swing your thing in English as a common saying, you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, it also rhymes. That is amazing. I didn't know that. Oh, uh, do we want to have more area or do we want to have crits? I think I will... Huh. I think I'll go for the area. Dude, okay. I'm an... I absolutely love this character. We have explosives. We have one to two tails that we swing around. We are a demon elf. Okay. Can it get any better? Can it get any better? Okay, there's a boss. I mean, I don't even have to care about you, right? I'll just run away. We do have auto-aim on, so, like, it aims towards the enemies and not the ones that I want to aim at, but that's kind of nice, because that means I just choose when to shoot here. Yeah, look at that. No, no, nothing. Okay. Oh, there! Look at this! And I don't even have to get close! That means there will be no attacks triggered. I could just keep shooting at him. I also don't do a lot of damage. I do assume the blue stuff is armor, right? So when it reads that it reduces the enemy armor by 40%, that probably just means that this blue bar would have been 40% less, I assume. Why do these swarms here appear as well? Hey, Summer. You actually look a lot like the character that I'm playing right now. Yeah. Your global damage is increased. That sounds actually way better since our main attacks are so good. Yeah, but why do they appear now in masses especially? I thought I triggered them with an event or so when I picked it up, right? It said like it summons champions or so. Um, why are there so many of them? These are not the same guys that we have seen before. As in, like, the same waves. This has changed. Ooh. If that changes based on the character, I don't know if I like that. I guess it also makes sense because some characters have other strengths. But no, I think I would like to have the same experience always. There we go, what do we get? Aisha again, hello. Huh, your attack shoots more projectiles. But that's only one, right? Like, listen, I don't think we need more, we have four. If the penalty wasn't that big, if you wouldn't lose as much area, I would be fine with it, but that sounds bad. The question is, 
If I would have taken that, would I have gotten eight total attacks? You know, it gives a base one, and then it's also tripled, that multiplier. So we have eight. Or would it just have went from four to five, but then I lose, what, 24% or so area? That's not worth it. Oh god, the slimes are spawning. I don't think we do particularly well against that. Actually, they should flood the stage here. And it should be ridiculously easy, right? Where are the slimes? So there they are. And now we swing that ding again. Nice, nice. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's actually as annoying as I thought it would be. Oh, wow. I may just die here. Okay. <laughs> we are swinging really hard. Wait a moment. Enemies you hit shoot out shurikens. That's not when we kill them. I thought it was when we kill them. We have so many projectiles and AoE attacks. Wait, that is incredibly good. Oh, now I wish I took a th uh, took that earlier. How do I open that again? 300 shard pull it. That's just straight up an upgrade. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Maybe it would be nice if the game could pause just for 0 0.5 seconds or 1 second after you get out of the equipment menu. But what, if there's already a pause, just make it a little bit longer. That you have some time to check out, okay, what was going on and what do I have to do? Oh, I'm still about to die. But it's not the fault of the character. Like, this is my fault, yeah. The dashing is something I'm, I'm, I'm really not used to that. I wish it would be maybe somewhere else, like in the top right, that you have little balls there and they show you, like when they are black, you can't dash. When they are filled up, then you can dash again. Because down there, I never look at that. So I don't know when I have dashes. Uh oh, uh oh, okay, okay. There is probably a spawn to the bottom right here, correct? Maybe it's health, and I kind of have to rush through here. Uh, where is it? Where is it? There, 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 there we go. Oh, please be health, please be health, please be health. Please don't kill me as well before it. No, that's summon the champions, right? I'll do it because otherwise we just... Okay, this, this is not what I expected. Oh, wow. Did you see the shurikens, though? Dude! The shurikens are so insane with our build. Now I really wish I just had a little bit more HP that we could do this. The dashing dudes, the big guys, are about to spawn and they will just nuke me. Like, there's no way I can keep up with that. And I have to find a heal. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. That actually didn't heal us for a lot, right? Why am I mistaken? I don't know. There's a dashing guy, so this will be a problem because I can't really dash out of his attacks that well. The oh my god, the dash cooldown is so long. Okay, there's another heal. That is actually a heal. Do you think they are like in the same diagonal area? Maybe, and if I keep going, I'll get another heal. I'll definitely need one. <laughs> uh, he will dash here. I can just walk out of that. Wait a second. Is there another one? Okay, it's not a heal, but yeah, look at this. I just have to walk diagonally, and then I always get to them. Interesting. So do we want to go for the blades? I think I will actually go for the improvement on the dashes, since I need stuff like that right now. Wait, we have two dashes now. Oh, really nice. And we got boots, we are faster, and our dash charge? Yeah, 100% dash charges. So we get plus one. Interesting. Okay, can we just kill this dude, please? So dashes are important. I'm already noticing this. It's a lot easier to deal with the enemies. Did we get the same boots again? Yeah, exactly the same boots. Okay. Can I maybe dash inside of the enemies and shoot off a load and then it explodes with the shurikens and everyone dies? This only works if I also one-shot them because otherwise they'll attack me and kill me. I have to be really careful what I do here. But I also need to collect the experience is the thing. Do you collect experience? No, it just means I get more experience, I think. Yeah, it looks like it. Wait, but I do one-shot a majority of the enemies. Ouch. Uh, except for the shielded dudes. That's why you probably want to have the negative armor. Yep, that would be good right now. Uh, there's a bunch of experience, but this... How do I not have dashes available? I'm still dying. No, but this is an amazing game. You definitely need to get used to it. It's less that you just randomly beat a stage and, you know, get going with that. Oh, no, it's... Oh, I thought it was kill the enemies. And I see this death... Oh, my mama. Hi there. Hey, you've been listening out of hell for months, haven't you? I'm sorry. <laughs> More daughter of death. Okay, I get the appeal now. 
Every couple of attacks spawn phantoms, any enemies they have become cursed and lose a percentage of their HP. But okay, can I maybe, when you overkill an enemy has a chance, spawns weak experience shards? That is insane. But I think I need to be strong with your skeletons. Um, yeah, okay, I, I will take it. Like, this may backfire a lot because I may have needed strength here and I just doomed myself. But to be fair, the others didn't sound all too convincing. Uh, I'm not sure, maybe. I gotta say, I'm absolutely in love with the characters. Like, all of them look amazing. I think Summer may still be my favorite, or maybe the death. Nice, kill the It's not killing the enemies. Oh my god, it's an idiot. <laughs> you just did it. <laughs> you just talked about it. Is that an elite? <gasps> it's an elite. It's an elite, right? That, that was the dude that we saw on stage one. Oh, did he just spawn? With the school that we got there. Like, there's a chance to spawn an elite or something, maybe. Ooh, okay, we got the book. Nice, nice, nice. Careful. I have a problem. I have a problem. Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. There are so many things getting shot at me, and this dude almost hit me. I think he may have hit me even. Um, this is fine. I would just like to get... Okay, okay. There we go. I don't know if that really helped me, but I... I have no dashes right now. Ooh, okay. Schwing. Nine... I, I gotta say, I'm I'm just straight up blown away by this game. I didn't expect this, and it's amazing. This is just the demo version, so make sure you go into the description, you wishlist this game, you check it out, and in the future, once a demo is out, we will make a series out of this. So I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, then don't forget to subscribe and give the video a like. See you the next time.